Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a double unboxing for you that I'm super excited for, but before we get into it, have you guys liked, commented, or subscribed to my channel? If you haven't and you enjoy this kind of content, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are notified every time that I upload a video. And without any further ado, let's get into the video. I'm gonna start with the smaller box. This one came from Nordstrom. A little heads up about both of these though. Both of these are floor models, so I'm a little iffy about them, um, especially this one. I've seen pictures of the other item that I'm gonna be unboxing for you guys, but this one came from Nordstrom. It came from a store and it's also white. So you guys know that the white can get dirty very easily and it's an older stock item. It's actually gonna go with my NASA Rogue. So let's get into this and hope that it's in like perfect condition. Right. It's just in a little plastic baggie here. Okay. Got my receipt at the bottom of the box. I think this was like 40 something dollars. It was like under 50 bucks. All right. Here she is. So far, so good. It doesn't look any worse for wear. Let's look at the condition here. And this is actually looking really good. Like, I was expecting this to be really beat up because it is an older stock item and it is white leather. You guys all know how white leather can be finicky. But, I mean, this hey, this is looking great to me. It's got like a... Is this like blue or purple? Or blurple? Um, like little pull tab there and the little tab here. These, I have other pouches like this, but they don't come with the hang tag, but they have this little piece where I would imagine a hang tag would go, or at least the little like wristlet piece to it, but they don't come with that. So that's a little confusing, but this is super cute. It's got the little USA rocket right there. And I think that's adorable. It's like red, white, and blue. I think it's gonna go perfectly with my NASA Rogue. It's like it got the same theme going on. Let's see what the interior's like. Okay, it's got the care card. The way that you can tell it's a retail item or a made for factory item is, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like two little tags in here. One's white with the style number. The other one is the made in. So this one says like made in India. You probably can't see that right there. But at the end of it, where it says made in India, made in China, made in Vietnam, the Philippines, wherever it's made at, if it has a white dot that's sewn into it, that is made for factory. If it doesn't have a white dot after the made in, then that is a retail item. That's a fun little fact that not too many people I hear know that, but it's a good little trick. Like when they do this, when they add the F in front of it and you're like, oh, it's a factory item. Go ahead and look at that made in tab in there. I think almost every SLG, every bag has that tab that tells you where it's made at and it'll tell you with that little dot. But I mean, it looks great. It doesn't look used and returned after being used. This is super cute and I can't wait to pair it. I can't wait to finish up my NASA Rogue. This is gonna be adorable with my NASA Rogue. I'm so excited for this and I'm glad that you let me know about it. Thank you so much all the way in Hawaii. Thank you, I appreciate it. This is perfect. All right, let's get into the main attraction here, the bag. I'm super excited for this. Let me fast forward this while I open it and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, without any further ado, let's get into this bag. I'm nervous and excited because this is the floor model. It was the last one left, so it was either this or nothing. Okay, typical coach fashion. This is a lot thicker than normal, actually. Oh, there's a note in there. And there's my receipt. Okay, before we get into this, let me look at the note. How cute is the packaging? I love that. Ooh. How cute, you guys. The note is a coach hang tag. How adorable is that? Out of all the packages I've ever received, I've never gotten a note on this kind of stationery. That is so cute. That makes me want to use it on a bag. 
Oh, thank you. Hope you enjoy Adam Goes Rogue. So before we get into this, actually, Joseph, you guys all remember Joseph. He's such a enabler, but such a great friend. Um, I was going back and forth, back and forth if I wanted this or not. And then he was going back and forth, back and forth if he wanted it or not. He ended up getting the Rogue Slim Satchel 25 um, in this particular print and by the time I waited and made up my mind it was already too late everything was gone and I was like venting to him and he's like well I know somebody who has one in store so I was like oh perfect let me know and he connected me with Adam Goes Rogue is his Instagram handle I asked him if he still had the bag and he was like yes I do let me take some pictures videos all that good stuff and here we are so without any further ado let's see what condition this bag is because like I said it did come from the floor okay here she is coach typical uh, gift wrapping let's open it up and hope for the best with the condition okay yes 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 do you guys use these boxes let me know in the comments down below question of the day do you guys reuse these boxes for any purposes and if you do what do you use them for I use them for display purposes normally either as like extra height so if I have like multiple layers of bags I can use that for that or just to fill like an empty spot which nowadays is not very often that I have empty spots anymore if anything it's the opposite but let me know in the comments down below if you guys do use them and what you guys use them for let's get into this because I'm nervous of the condition but I'm excited to see it at the same time That is so stinking adorable. I don't know how that ended up on the top, but it's in there. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, this really makes me think of my grandma, you guys. My grandma, she passed a little while ago, but she was a big fan of elephants. So... It was, you know, symbolism and for good luck. And she just had elephants everywhere throughout the house. And I'm excited that I was able to get this in my collection because I waited too long, um, especially when that 50% off hit, you guys, these things disappeared off the shelves. Seems like everybody was waiting for that. Um, but you guys know with Coach, it's always a gamble if it'll make it to sell. So I recommend if it's a piece that you do love and you would be devastated if you missed out on, go ahead and pick it up. It's worth paying that little extra before waiting for it to go on sale because scouring the sites is hard and it takes a lot of time, negotiation, and it just saves you a whole lot of headache. And then by the time you get to the outlets, sometimes, you know, they can be not in the best condition. So if you have the option to get it from a sales associate directly that can give you pictures, videos, you know what to expect before it shows up. And I highly recommend doing that. You guys, this is so stinking cute. Let's look at the bottom this is where I was told the scratches was and yeah if I don't know if you guys can see there right over here in this little corner there's like one long scratch and then a shorter one here and you know what that was full disclosure he pointed it out and I am totally okay I think there's another small little one right there but it's the bottom of the bag it's going to happen and at hello 50% off I'm perfectly fine if this bag is not in perfect condition. I'm getting half off the cost of what was this, like $600, $650 maybe. And to me, that is totally worth it. And I will compromise. I will give a little to get a lot. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to move into this like almost immediately. Look at that. Like the elephants everywhere. And from what I've seen, so... <clears throat> I hear a lot of people um, say that with the elephant prints, as long as the trunks are facing up, it's good luck. If the trunks are facing down, not so much. I'm not too sure. I mean, hey, that's a fun little saying, but my grandma loved elephants and that's what I'm here for. Let's get into it because outside is like this teak color. I think it's teak, dark teak, or maybe even chestnut has those amazing handles that fold out of the way 
and it's got like a little bit darker looks like a little bit darker leather lining inside and you guys know how the 25s are the new ones it's got a slip pocket here it's got a little credit card slot there but let's finish dressing her up let's get into it that's already adding so much more fun and play and interest to it love that and of course since this is the new generation 25 this comes with a shoulder slash crossbody strap to me it's not really crossbody straight up you know i'm a big guy and i'm really tall so to me this is just like a shoulder wear strap but let's see what kind of condition she's in but i mean she looks great so so perfect I just want to see the inside there. It's a typical layout there. And you guys, not only did I get an amazing deal on this, but thanks to my best friend of over 20 years. Hi, Andrew. Um, he gave me a gift card for Christmas this year. And once everything was all said and done, this bag cost me like 150 bucks. I mean, a new Rogue, brand new Rogue for 150 bucks, like unheard of especially from a boutique store and not an outlet so andrew if you're watching thank you so much i appreciate it here's my christmas present from you to me you helped with this and i'm super over the moon about it it is so stinking cute so the style number is c6445 and the color is dark teak it's not chestnut it's dark teak so i'm guessing maybe the inside might be dark um might be chestnut on the inside because to me it's like a slightly different hue of brown a dark brown and i love it so this is the L uh leather elephant print rogue 25 and it was 650 marked down to 450 I maybe that's when they were doing like 30% off or something um so yeah there's that you guys can take a quick glance at that and I mean I can't say enough about this bag other than the fact that it's gorgeous it's beautiful and i'm so glad that joseph you were there to listen to me moan and whine that i missed out on this one and i got this because he actually passed on it like i said he got the slim brief 25 rogue brief 25 in this print and because he chose that one this one was still available so if it wasn't for joseph passing up on this and getting the rogue slim 25 i wouldn't have had this and i'm very grateful thank you joseph thank you andrew and thank you adam goes rogue i appreciate it i'm gonna go enjoy this some more i'm probably gonna put all my stuff into this and switch into it immediately so until the next video you guys thank you so much for watching like comment and subscribe and i'll find you on the next one bye